Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams. We're going to conduct a one sample Z test of the mean. We're going to use the confidence interval approach to come to our decision. A recent report by the AMA stated that the average annual salary of psychiatrists is $189,000 with a population standard deviation of $26,000. Chowan Hospital randomly sampled 64 psychiatrists and found an average annual salary of $198,000. Chowan Hospital now claims that the average salary is actually higher than what the AMA reported, and we're going to test their claim at an alpha of 0.05. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into the question, and I'm going to pull out all the information that I need. So the established out value for the mean is $189,000. And we were given population standard deviation, our value of sigma, of $26,000. And Chowan Hospital randomly sampled 64 psychi psychiatrists, which is my N, and their average of that sample was 198,000, which is my value of X bar. And I'm told that I'm going to test their claim at an alpha of 0.05. So let's go ahead and set up our null and alternative hypothesis. The established value of the population parameter is 189,000. So now what we need to do is figure out what direction or where we're going to be testing. So the hospital claims that the salary is actually higher, so that becomes a greater than. Since HO and HA are mathematical opposites, this becomes less than or equal to. Remember, I knew that this greater than went in HA because there is never any version of the equal to sign in the alternative hypothesis. I also would have known that this test is going to be conducted on the right tail right, because that's the direction of HA. But in this case, I'm going to use a confidence interval approach. So the first thing I have to do is construct my 95% confidence interval. And I know that I'm constructing a 95% interval because I was asked to test this at an alpha of 0.05. And I know that level of confidence plus alpha equals 1. And it's a two-sided interval. So here I have alpha divided by 2. 0.025 and I have down here the other half of my alpha of 0.025. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to begin with the point estimate um, which is X bar and then I'm going to add and subtract. And the reason I'm going to add and subtract is I need this upper limit here and then I need a lower limit down here and I'm going to add and subtract um, the value for Z alpha divided by 2 for a 95% interval. I'm going to multiply that by this standard error of the mean. So I'm going to get, begin with X bar. And X bar is the $198,000 that we found in our sample. And I'm going to go plus or minus. The Z alpha divided by 2 value for a 95% confidence interval is 1.96. And I'm going to multiply that by my standard error, which will be the population standard deviation of $26,000 divided by the square root of N, and my N was 64. So I'm going to reduce this portion right here, then I'm going to add it and subtract it to X bar. And so when I do that, I know I'm going to end up with $198,000 plus and minus $6,370. And what that's going to give me is an upper limit of 204,370. And then my lower limit is going to be 191,630. So our hypothesized, our, our established value for mu from our problem was, remember we said 
the AMA had established that the mean was a hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars so I want to look and see where on this number line does a hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars fall and it's somewhere down here below this 191,630. Remember between this lower limit and this upper limit, this is my 95% interval. And this value of the mean is somewhere down in here. So you should recognize the tail of the curve as being a rejection region. Let's make that final decision. Remember that when we're using a confidence interval approach, if the hypothesized value is contained inside the interval, then our decision is do not reject HO. But if our hypothesized value is not contained in the interval, in other words, falls below the lower limit or above the upper limit, then our decision is to reject HO. Well, here are the two limits of my confidence interval that we just constructed, the 191,630 on the low end, 204, 370 on the high end. I look at my hypothesized value of the mean, and again, we know that it's below that lower limit. And so because the hypothesized value of 189 is not contained inside of our 95% interval, our decision is to reject HO. In other words, we have sufficient evidence to support the hospital's claim that the average salary of psychiatrists is actually higher than the $189,000 contained in the AMA study. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.